Okay, today uh, is our Pathfinder Field Day, uh, Saturday, I think, September the 9th, yeah. And uh, I'm starting here with my grand youngins. This is Aiden, this is Maddie, and this is Gabe. And uh, anyway, we're just sort of kicking this off. We're up here to get our fire started uh, this morning, and we're cutting some firewood and uh, Getting ready for the rest of the Pathfinders and our guests coming in today. We got a guest, Alan Tharp, coming in today, which I'll introduce later. And uh, we also got. Uh, it's my birthday. It's Aiden's birthday today. We're having his birthday party later on after the Pathfinder gather. And uh, uh, we also got a, a, a friend uh, that I just met uh, coming up from East Bend, uh, Jerry and his uh, uh, kids. And we're excited for today. So until later, uh, we're going to get some Pathfinder activities and we'll introduce some hey, more guests later you know on. Hey, watch me do that. <laughs> okay, we'll talk to you later. All right, Gabe, show us how to use that saw there. We got us a Corona saw that's a really good saw from... Uh, we got it from Lowe's, and uh, this is a really good saw, and our young Pathfinders is showing us how to do it. My dad used to have one of these and lost it. it. Hi, Uncle Nick. <laughs> Hi, Daisy. <laughs> Daisy and Uncle Nick. You going to swap off now? It's my turn, Daisy. All right, get Matt in there. Now be, make sure it's straight. Make sure you saw straight in the hole. Yeah, I can't. You got hold it. it you got it sideways. Turn around. Hold it. Swing around. Look here. You want to feel, feel it when it loosens up. When you just can lay it in there, and that's I'm when you want to start it. sawing. Straight back, straight forward. There you go. Maddie, she's a good sawer. And me too. Now, so far, they've sawed all of that. I ain't helped them. They're getting on down in there. I saw down to the wood almost. Now, what you need to do is sort of help each other. Uh, no, my turn. No, it's Aiden's turn. Now, Gabe, you you stay on that end. Maddie, come over here. And put I your weight you. up against this. That'll keep that from working back and forth. And make sure it's straight in there. There you go. They're learning to use a hand saw, but they, I told them this saw here a flat cut them, so they're gonna have to be careful. Yeah, yeah, because Peppa. I can see it looks like finger. good in there, right, Peppa? It looks Peppa, good you in got there. Stitches in your finger from now my turn. Aiden, now my turn. Don't get it so far toward the back. Yeah. Now my turn. There you go. Pull back a little further. There you go. I'm just sawing right now. <laughs> You're just sawing right now? Yeah, it's my birthday today, so this is Pathfinder. This is Pathfinder A Delete. <laughs> Make sure you got it all the way down in there and straight. Yeah. Now don't stick it in like that, you'll bend your tip. There you go. Man. Man, boy, she's a good saw. Boys, watch her. Papa, I think they're deep like this. They're deep. You like pathfinding, Maddie? You gonna be a pathfinder? <laughs> I'm gonna be a pathfinder like Papa. Like straighten it out. Go all the way down in there. Move your saw left and right till you get it all the way down in your hole. Don't push it. There you go. Just hold it now, up. Now, now you're ready. Dude, you're not gonna there be good go. like me too. There you go. Now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. I'm learning for. I'm learning from Pathfinder Pathfall. Yeah, from Pathfinder Pathfall. Make sure your tip is all the way through. There you go. 
because you'll, bend, you'll break your blade if you ain't careful. Now watch where your hand's at. You don't want that near that saw. Okay, till later we'll check him. Okay, here we are. We got Alan Tharp uh, come in here to be with us today. Hey, Alan. Hello. How you doing? He's here. He's here working with the uh, grandbabies on uh, what kind of stuff do you call it? Uh, it's just oakum. Oakum. So I learned something new today. <laughs> so Alan brought something it's, new it's to the, the table. It's the cheater tender material. Yeah, the cheater tender material. But anyway, he's gonna work with the grand youngins here a little bit. And I'm just going to get this right on there, here. You got to go faster. It's not going to get hot enough. That's good though, man. He might be good at the hand drill. He might be. Get some thumb straps. I cut around some mulling down here. I don't know if okay. you can see it down there. I'm letting it dry out. Okay. And uh, to mess with it some. Now, you still recording? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right. So who wants oh, to do the striker Lord. first? Oh, you do? Lord. All right. Do you have a knife? Do y'all have knives? Yes. I got them knives, but he didn't bring his, home, so I didn't let none of them have them. They come from okay. South Carolina. So, um, I was just curious if, like, you brought each one of them a knife, but then you give it to them when they're using it, and then get they have to give it back to you. Yeah. Take deal. Yeah. I brought a knife. Mine is probably too sharp, so I get my little, um, oh, I forgot the name of it now. Let me go get it. The Bushcraft Black. Let me go get a knife for y'all to use. All right, hold on. Okay. All right, so you see what we did here? We put a base down so the ground doesn't do what? No, so it doesn't suck the heat out of the fire, especially when it's cold. Oh, you got a, oh, you got a mirror in there, so you can put your makeup on? You don't put makeup on? Nothing like that? No, you can put stuff in there and screw it Use that to check and see if you got boogers in your nose, sleepies in your eye, nothing like that? No? Okay. You see this right here? You need about twice this much. See this? That's about you. For you, that's about the right size. For me, I need more than that. Same with you, I need about twice the amount. But see how it's not a handful in this here? So this should be the size of your wrist, the pile. This one here should so be the size like of what? Based on how big you are? This is a. This is a. This is what's No, you don't fuel. ever want to. You don't want to ever want to start a fire unless you got enough stuff there to sustain it while you walk off and get some more. Okay. Because it, it's winter time, and then you get all your stuff that you winter. need for the entire time before you start, because you'll generate heat and all that kind of stuff collecting. What are you going to do with that pot? Yeah. yeah. Hmm? What are you cooking in that pot? You like my pot hanger? You ever seen anything like that, Alice? <laughs> it looks like it's just tied around both handles. Papa, so how do you get it off? Huh? It don't have a toggle in it. Yeah. It's just water. I got the toggle up over the top it's of her. But it's permanently attached to your. Mm -hmm. Now how do you attach it to your, to your pot? You it's just it. loop. It's just I just run the toggle underneath the underneath the string and then. But I mean, you got it tied on here though. Yeah. Yeah, I got it tied on both sides. I just got a string actually tied on yeah. each handle. Then I run my toggle cord underneath it and brought it up over okay. here. So you ever thought about putting a toggle on each side? So you could just unhook it and you don't have the string hanging and That would be on good. It? Then I wouldn't lose cordage, would I? That's right. Just run a toggle right there and there. Or run your tile here and run a, two toggles, put one on that side, and it'll level your pot out too. Well, you left me, and we were talking about fire, and you left me. Okay, so what's the next thing we need to do? We need to, what do we need next? We need, well, see, that's... Okay, so you see, we're learning uh, ideals for, here at the uh, Pathfinder uh, camp. Do you remember learning through the ideals. A tender bundle? I do. <laughs> what's the difference between a bird's nest and a tender bundle? I'm a tender bundle. I'm a tender bundle. I'm a you go down the woods and you collect what? Th this kind of stuff, right? And, and, and this would be like tender bundle stuff, right? This or this would be a tender bundle, like if you made a bundle of. This is called tender. Real fine, hairy, fuzzy stuff is called a bird's nest. Does that make sense? Where do you guys collect your tender material at? 
Poplar tree? Poplar, yeah. Two pop bark. Well, we won't go into all that. We're going to learn the basics. Hold on. This came off my, this came off my horse's tail. No, it's not. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> no, it's not. We looking good over here? Oh, yeah. I think all are. We got sh uh, shelter exercises over here done. I had to get Josh to help me with that. I think uh, Jonathan now is up here. I think this one's Colts. Is this Austin's over here? How'd you do with your knots? Good. Done good with your knots? Okay, you got your trucker's hitch over here. And what you got there? Siberian, si Siberian hitch. Siberian hitch? Okay. All right. Let's see what we got up here. Oh man, y'all look like y'all are set in up here. I'm just moving. Huh? I was over down there. I'm moving now. You're moving? Literally, moving, and there's my neighbors. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of alone over here. Did you get you? have you done got your fire lay and everything all worked out? This is my stove I'm just about to go. Uh-huh. I'm getting everything ready. But do you know how to build your fire now? Have you been down there listening to Alan, huh? Kinda. Don't you think that's really important to learn about how to build a fire properly? Huh? I'm not really into that kind of stuff. I just like doing stuff my way. Oh, you do? Yeah, it works but kind of sometimes. Okay, we well, see, we try to teach you where to work all the time. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Is that your platform now to start your fire? Yeah. You got your bird's nest right there. And you got your tender bundle over there. I can show you mine when I'm done. I have a lot of pride and joy in this. So you're you're ready to camp out, huh? Uh-huh. And this is you got that monthly goal supply of those foods. I'm ready. <laughs> I want to try that, um, pasta. No, Check this out. Sausage. This is my, uh, spaghetti stuff. meatballs. This is All I, right. This is what I eat with. Oh, man, you got your spoon and a fork and everything there, right? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. You ready, okay. Good to be ready. Here we go. We're just going around here showing you some of the activities we got going on. We got Emma down here with Chase D and Colt. Yeah, where's your fire bed at? Where's your platform? Hmm? Maybe we should have had y'all over there on a fire building exercise. Right? Is that what we do? Do we put a base down first? Yes. Yeah. Why do we put a base down? So uh, if the ground's wet, it won't put the fire Or cold? Because yeah. what happens? Conduction? Because uh, you need uh, heat, oxygen, and fuel for a fire. And if you smother it, it can um, take out the... And the ground, but the ground does what to fire? Conduction. It conducts. Yes. So we build a, a insulation barrier between our where we want to start our fire in the ground so it don't suck the heat out of our fire when we get ignition, right? Yes. Okay. How's Emma today? You having fun yet, Emma? Huh? Do you like it? All right. Put that right there. Okay. All right, so you're going to strike this? How about we put this over here so you can do it? Let's, uh, 
just do this. Just do this then. Sort of. Can I start the fire? Yes, you're going to start the fire. All right, let's not put that on yet. Hold on he was on a show and he was trying to get the fire going. Once he got it going, he set that down on the ground next to it and it burned up. So the next day he got up, he had, didn't have a fire starter. Yeah. So he had to call it quits on that show that he was on. <laughs> so yeah, that's always a, stick this in your pocket, back in your bag. Um, you, I can't do it. Well, for, for this, you'll probably have to no. put those on. Okay. How you want? All right, let's, let's show you how to do this. Well, you don't want to do it that way. You know why? Because you're going to end up flicking. See what happens if you do this? You go, oh, huh. see how you're messing it, you'll knock your stuff off. So let's get this fluffed up a little more. How about you hold on to that and I give you mine? What about me? Well, she's lighting oh, it. She's lighting Here, back up a little bit. Back, back up, up a little bit. bit. Stand back there. There you go. Okay. You don't have to get them a fire hold starter. This one. <laughs> okay. Put that in your pocket. <coughs> Yeah, I wasn't quite sure how that Cooligan fire starter would work. Hold this. Well, and your right, and your left hand. You right-handed or left-handed? Like what do you write with? Right okay, well then hold that in your. In your get this. I'm gonna get on this fire. You can almost beat somebody with that fair rod. Right? Yes, you could. Yes. All right, come over here and kneel in front of the fire. Right there, just about right there. You don't want to burn your knees, so back up a little bit. I've never seen one that big. Okay, now hold the knife like this. Put this down here, and you want to pull this. You don't want to go like this. You want to go like this. Okay. Now, as soon as this lights, I'm going to go ahead and go like this and take these, and I want you to pick these up and hold them until I tell you to put them on. So, oh, yep, go ahead. It might be a little big. There you go. Wow, right there. look at that. That's good. Stay right there. Don't move. Don't move. you got to put those on it. I'm scared of fire tangles. Okay. Pick, pick these. Pick them all up. No, no. The whole thing. The whole thing. Put, now, lay them down on there, just like this. Let that burn through, okay? Now with this, we needed more of the like for something to burn a little quicker. So just keep your hair back, baby. <laughs> let that let that go. It'll catch here in a minute. Yeah. See, this stuff will burn, but it burns fairly quick. So you need to have other material, like per yeah. poplar bark or or something like this stuff right here. To put under there and that'll burn. See, Daddy, that'll burn Daddy's too. Daddy's scared of my hair. Yeah, yeah, if you find poplar bark, put that with it. <laughs> wow. This is like using cat's Yeah, you don't want to do that. Stuff. If you yeah. if you do it like this and light it, what yeah, it does, it it'll. Come oh, hold on, wait, hold on, don't up here. See, like if you if you catch this on fire and then yeah. and watch it, it'll burn. If you compress it, it'll burn for a while, like just like that. But if you open it up, it'll catch again more. And if you put it out, that basically is char material right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you get that, see, it'll burn like that, and it'll keep burning. And then if you open it up, it'll it'll keep burning. Okay. Look. You see how that flames are coming through? Now you got to put those on. Put them this way. And the problem is the fire's a little big for y'all. So let's go like this and put those on without smushing it. Where'd you get that water from? The stick needs to be bigger. Mommy. Now go in there and blow a little more. That might have been too much for y'all. Mommy, I'm looking. I'm looking with. Him. Yeah, yeah, you're doing good. This what this is for? Look, look, yeah. what, what, what? Oh, cool. Okay. You lifting your fire base up. All right. Problem is, these are way too big for that little bit. We done ruined the fire. I put it on there too much. See? Good. That's all right. Don't worry about it's it. Still going on the back side of that cloth that you got. See, the problem is, I let that burn. We didn't put them on quick enough. So yeah. we had that nice flame going, and then we waited and we we're talking around. And Can I didn't I get these it? caught. Hold on, let's get this fire going again. I'm making myself look like an idiot. Here. <laughs> but that's the technique. Let's uh, let's get this going again. That's part of the learning process. That's right, but... Uh, Smoke. This shouldn't be a learning process for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we know what not to do. Yes, don't do, don't drop it on So it's still mother. a learning process. Yes. yes. Well, it's still a learning process for everybody. Yeah, so the problem is... I'm trying to get away from the smoke. Yeah, yeah, it'll fall. Yeah. That will go perfect. All right. That's what this is for. Problem is, we're off our base. We're Can on the ground. It's sucking the heat out. See, we pushed everything that way. It needs to be over here. We're we're ruining our fire here. We might start over. Don't throw a whole lot more stuff. My hand did yeah. There you go. Clear. Keep blowing. Problem is, we don't want to smother it. Get it. Don't want to smother it. See what happens when you put too much on it? See, that's what I meant to do. 
We're doing the knife. Let thing. that catch on fire. So <laughs> this is what you don't want to do. This is what you want to do. Yep. That's what happened. I put too much on at one time. There we go. Got there the you fire go. going back. You just right. move it around. Yep. So. We just had to put it back on the base. See that cool, cool ground. I got, I got a little faster than I got this. All right. It. Let that burn that before is. we put anything else on there. Mommy, where did my knife go? Let that catch. Where did my knife go? Where did you get that fire started? I don't know, Bubby. Get that Pathfinder school. Was okay. it a real knife? It's like knife? a half inch by six inch long. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is from Jason at Campcraft Outfit. Campcraft Outfit. It's a, it's the same one. He coached it shellac. But yeah, that's that's a lot softer than anything you can buy out in the market right now. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And then the ones they sell, you get with the copper bopper on them, so you can do flint napping. So I have one in my bag. I'm sure you, but yeah, this is what. And then I keep another small one. There, see the flames are coming up? We need the small sticks now. And you put them on there a little bit at a time. I like dumped them on there, but you shouldn't dump them on. You should just do that. See how we're doing this? See, now we're blocking the wood, so let's lift it up a little bit. See, now the flames come up a little bit. See that? All right, stop blowing. Stop blowing. No, don't do that. We're not marshmallow yet. Hold on a minute. <laughs> you didn't even get your fire going yet. See, I lift it up like that and it lets more air underneath. I'm trying to what that's for. Maddie, not cool. wait. Um, It'll get bigger in a minute. I had an Indian guy show me that was at the gathering. He made, he made me a tarp and stuff. Marshmallow! Uh, Indian. Alright, pick it up and blow it out. You don't want it to burn yeah, too much. I'm flicking it, everybody. <laughs> I like mine black. See, we got more. So let's put more, more sticks on. <laughs> oh, now everybody's ready to roast marshmallows. Oh, you hear it? You hear it sizzling? Sizzle. You're not hearing it sizzling. That means the wood's wet. You hear that? That means the wood's wet. Oh, see, we got more. See, that's what it should look like right there. And then you keep adding sticks on there. As long as the flames are through, you can get... Oh, don't throw it. Just lay it on there gentle like. All right, just like that. See that right there? And then lift it. See how much... Look at that. Watch. See, watch. Look at that. See, watch. Look at that. See, watch. Look at that. see there's no flame right here? Look, see, there's no flame. Watch when I lift this. Ooh, see all that flame? See, Now it's getting real good. And you lift it up. Look, all that flame. That's cool. Went down like this. See that? No Make flame, true. hardly. Then right there, <laughs> more flame. <laughs> See that? And then put it down, some of it disappears. That's flying Whoa. weird. So if you want to do it, <laughs> you can go like this and put your put your thing like that. Okay. And that lets more air in, and then you can start going on this side. That's cool. Yes. No, I'm not having this. Now, they will do like the two bundles and put them in there. He's not having it. He goes, no, I am not having it. The other way you could do that is how you have your smalls. You put them on there like this. It's still recording. And you put your tender thing underneath. Okay, what we're going to do today, we'll feed them with is Mountain House meals. Uh, now, before anybody says anything, I know these things are pretty expensive. But uh, I got a, a fella let me have these at a good deal. Uh, for our Pathfinder groups and some of the outings that we do. But, but anyhow, uh, we're going to try these today, and I've shown them how to fix them, and which basically we got a little notch here. Uh, this here is uh, noodles and chicken, but we got a little notch here. We're going to tear that open, like so, and open it up. Now, these things has got a little a pack in here to keep them from moisture from out. You don't want to leave that in there. Just put that aside. Yeah, you need to rip it up the Pathfinder right cups has got graduated uh, markings in them to measure your uh, to measure your uh, water width and whatever you're doing. Uh, I'm gonna have to wipe the bottom off. I had it on the ground. But anyway, we just got us a big pot of water here. Hi. <coughs> We've got 16 okay, ounces of water. We're gonna pour that in there. Do the first one's what? We're going to sort of slosh it around a little bit, and then we're going to seal it. It's got a, got your little zip ties or sealers on it. What do you call them? What do y'all call them things? Ziploc. Ziploc. Just make sure it's zip. We're going to slosh it around it. Whoop, just a little bit. Didn't have a zip good. And then you want to just sort of set it aside and let it cook. Okay, you got it. Don't so we've got two meals going here. Huh? 
I'm going to take the mac and cheese to Chase. Yeah, you got fluffy, fluffy. I don't have any mac and cheese unless we'll, Chase we'll has got some mac and cheese. I find those bluebirds. So you got mac and back. cheese? I've got some uh, like beef stew. Like that, and I'm going to drop it down in here. You, you want beef stew? Yeah, we can take beef stew. I'm going to drop that thing down huh? in there. So we don't push it. Beef. Hold I don't think here. I got but one of these. Oh, this here, this is a uh, marine cuisine uh, mountain house by mountain house uh, beef stew, and it takes same amount of water. Hey, can I see our There we go. I caught it. This water is boiling, so right, you have to really be your face. careful pouring it in. Blow it. No, you need to catch the fire. Throw it right there. Not yet. I want to smell. Mm -hmm. Oh, you had it. Blow it again. There it is. Drop it. Drop it. Smells so good. I, there you go. Me and no, Chase to take that one. Take a stick it. They got stick it. Put it over there. Or pick it up. Yeah, two sticks. Me and Chase take that one. I'm struggling with the zip. Y'all want this one? Hold your ground, then. Hold your ground, then. I'm doing damage control. <laughs> How you doing, Ella? Hey. You want to put that down and break, carry it on the way back? You want to take that out and carry it on the way back? And that rock? <laughs> Here, let's put this out. That's heavy. Get down the way back. There's more rocks. Did you get tired finally? Now put you, put you a tulip popper block there beside of it. I don't want that anymore. And we'll pick all that up when we come back. You want to do that? Huh? Can I come over here when it snows? Is that a lot lighter? Yeah. It's like cool running. <laughs> cool running. Yeah, that would be Alan, I call that staples over there. Staples? Yeah. I want to do this so I don't forget where it's going. He'll eat that. <laughs> well, whose birthday is it? Like, uh, getting on the table wrong. Oh, I'll eat Aiden's birthday. Yeah. He's having a pie finer birthday, ain't he? No, 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 no,